2K25 is right around the corner and with the game being right around the corner which means it's time for community day. Now community day happens every year and every year there's a different take that creators have about community day. So Stax Montana went to Twitter and said community day has given hundreds of creators big and small men and women American and global the opportunity to play the game early tweet their thoughts and capture and post content that they've captured early and meet people that they have never met in real life for the first time ever so basically what he's saying is people aren't really hype about community day anymore because some people don't get invited but basically he's saying is that some people are mad that they aren't invited to community day now i can see his take on it but there have been other youtubers to have their takes on it too so bash boy had a take on i'm not gonna post his take on it for real for real because he tweeted like a lot of different paragraphs but some of the other different youtubers that tweeted about it dignify pulled up a tweet and he said for his tweet about community day he says just bring out a demo and i do really believe that they should bring out a demo and i say that they should bring out a demo because it gives everybody the opportunity to play the game at the same time to test it out at the same time last time we had a demo was 2k20 it's 2k25 we need one I ain't gonna lie i'm tired of playing the same stuff over and over waiting until the new 2k drop i would at least want to play something on it you know but if they did do a demo everybody would get the game at the same time and community day wouldn't be that much of a deal for real, for real because you still get to test the game out just like everybody else so there's also a tweet from yard man gaming he tweeted about community day he went to community day for 2k23 and he said a lot of creators that went during 2k23 haven't been back since but he said that there is no criteria for if you're going to go to community day or not but if there was his channel would go or create the criteria or meet the criteria to go back and he's not lying he, he, do, he do put in the work i ain't even gonna lie his channel is hard his channel is tough but yeah i do agree with them and his statement it is a business at the end of the day 2k has to do what they feel is best for them and their company moving forward even though if we don't agree with it it ain't nothing we can do you feel me it's not nothing we can do to like really change that but it shouldn't be that much of an outbreak over community day because at the end of the day we still gonna play the game just later than others now 2k did release today their new ranked system for play now online they now have different lead tiers they have bronze silver what else gold and platinum now for each of them you do get a reward so for the bronze league once you graduate you need 20 points don't know what the point system is about but once you get 20 points in the bronze league you get the 60s 70s 80s and 90s eras teams unlocked for the silver team you unlock the 2000 eras teams for the gold league you unlock the 2010s eras teams and for the platinum league you unlock the 2013 2014 san antonio spurs i don't know why the spurs are that important in the premium league that must mean they go crazy this year because the spurs even though they won a championship against lebron 2013 2014 they not that good in 2k i'm not even going to lie to you the best throwback team they're not beating the 16 17 warriors not going on but they must go crazy but i see once you get to the goat lead after goat lead the reward for that would be the all-time charlotte hornets now if you play play now online the all-time charlotte hornets will get waxed by the pelicans maybe the knicks most definitely the lakers but i don't even know why they would have that as a goat lead reward unless they're doing it by seasons you know there might just be this season reward for playing no online unless they're trying to bring seasons into playing no online with the rewards now i don't know if that's what they're trying to do or not but that's just some of the um you know rankings for that and they also have accolades the different accolades they have for time traveler which is user unlocks all eras teams well traveled user one with every nba team and playing no online timeless the user won a game with every all-time team if you can win again with every all-time team on this game hey you're nice anyway they got i'm like bye i don't even know what that is user reaches goat mode in three playing now online season so yeah i guess they are doing it by seasons now old school pro one again with every eras team if you can do that too 
yeah, nice. But I mean, it's probably not that hard when the game with every team because every era got certain cheesy teams you can use. Like in the 70s, you want to go in the 70s, you go with the 70, 71 bucks. John McLaughlin, hey, that boy is a shooter with Oscar Robinson. I ain't gonna lie, he's a shooter. He's a shooter. Then they got Kareem down low in the paint. Kareem puts in work. That 70, 71 bucks team is nice. I've been using them, they're nice anyway. Big time, I use unlocks 15 all time teams. Okay, whatever that means, if you just unlock them, and then all time, I use unlocks all 30 all time teams. Now, I want to see how this will turn out, but we'll see how I come. But look, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you are new, it's been your boy Greg. I'm crazy, still updating y'all whenever I can, and I'm out, man. Peace.